Specs like Nike, let me give you a good night kiss. Chicago. Chicago. Oh my god. I've been so sad. I almost spilled my coffee on my autographed Zach basketball. <sighs> What's up, YouTube? It's Check Like Nike back. Another video from Steph's Corner. So, last time I was sitting here, I made a video about my prediction for the end of the season, and um, so far, only one has been confirmed, and I was wrong because the Raptors are in the finals. But doesn't matter. What I'm here to talk about is the other team in the finals, the Golden State Warriors, and someone on their team by the name of Kevin Durant. So, I'm personally not a big KD person. I really, really, really don't like what he did to OKC. And, you know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm not like mad about it, but I still think it was wrong. And I don't like players that do stupid things like that. Anyway, I'm here to talk about Kevin Durant. So. Kevin Durant is obviously going to leave the Golden State Warriors this upcoming s oh my God. Kevin Durant is obviously going to leave the Golden State Warriors this upcoming offseason or after the playoffs or finals or whatever are done because he no longer wants to accept the little contracts that the Warriors can have to offer him and War the Warriors never really had a huge uh, monetary issue being that Steph wasn't on a big contract, Dre and Clay were never on big contracts and you know then when Boogie and KD came along, they took pay cuts. Obviously, Steph Curry's most recent signing took a little hit to the Golden State wallet, but not a big deal because Kevin Durant and his $10 million pay cut are leaving for someone who's gonna pay them full price. He has even admitted to being very, not envious, but he wants the type of money that most of these big guys around the league are getting and he is not getting. So this is gonna be a very big move for the entire league because he is going to be a very important piece to any franchise He's 30 years old now, so he doesn't have much time to just keep moving around. So this has to be one of his final moves, I'd say. A big decision. Where does he want to go and where does he want to continue his career? Now, some people say that he's one of the greatest players or shooters or scorers of our generation or in the league right now. So that being said, he needs to pick wisely. Now, there are rumors about a house in New York. I don't know if it's true or not. I can drive around and look for it if you guys want me to. A big target for him and for NBA fans is the New York Knicks. Besides the fact that every time he's asked about it in post-game interviews, he kind of brushes it off or even gets angry and rage quits and leaves. But there have also been other signs saying that he most definitely is going to New York. Now, as you know, New York has space for two big stars to sign big contracts, which has led to a lot of Kyrie and KD spe speculation, but there's also been thoughts about Kyrie going to rekindle his little bromance with LeBron over in LA, which I would be up for more than KD and Kyrie. I don't even want Kevin Durant here in New York, honestly. I'd rather him just stay away from me. I don't want to have to pay extra on going to home games in New York to see someone that I don't give two craps about. So for the Knicks, does this mean Kyrie, KD, Anthony Davis? Although Anthony Davis should probably stay with Zion now. So many people think he is going to New York. Although personally, I wouldn't want to deal with the New York franchise anyway and who's leading it. And I mean, it has gotten better recently, but I still wouldn't really want to deal with what's going on in New York if I was Kevin Durant. So with the Knicks being such a big, you know, thought in mind, I guess you could say, for Kevin Durant, that has me thinking that he probably wants his own team. So, what about this? Hear me out. He should go to a big city. I guess that's his goal. Like, he obviously wants to go to a big city and play. I mean, he's currently in California, in the San Francisco, which kind of blew up in terms of NBA recently. And he's speculated to go to New York. You know, Boston's a big city. Like, these places, like, are big cities. What about going to LA, but not to play with LeBron, which obviously wouldn't be wouldn't fit this particular case because LeBron would take more of the fame than Kevin Durant would. What if he went to the Clippers to compete with LeBron? What? It would be his team. I mean, Doc Rivers is a pretty good coach. What can Doc Rivers make out of Kevin Durant? I mean, maybe we can bring back a little bit of the Lob City Clips. So I do think he should go somewhere where he can win rings and win them for his team, not with his team. Now, if he can possibly have a chance to redeem himself, he needs to go somewhere where he can prove that individually. I personally think he should go to a pretty shitty team. I think that will help him. And then if someone follows, oh, look at that. Now we have maybe another super team on the rise. But you were there first, KD, so no one's going to call you a cupcake this time. 
He has mentioned multiple times that he is in it for the money and he wants the money. So, he has to go somewhere where cap space is available. The Knicks have that. Can he bring them possibly back to a preferred team to travel to and others will follow along? Maybe. Or can he maybe take a one-year contract, see how the league settles, and then make his big move to go somewhere? That is something I haven't heard anyone talking about because maybe I'm an idiot. But that's what I would try to do. So that being said, I do think he should go to a pretty low-key team, then make a big move. Now, the biggest move he can possibly make, both as a man and as a player, is going back to OKC. Think about how much respect LeBron gained back when he went to Cleveland, won the ring, and then dipped again, you know? Everyone really appreciated that couple seasons where he told him, I will get you a ring, and he did it. Maybe, I mean, now they got Paul George, who's really playing very well, but maybe KD can go make the move and go back to OKC. I would personally love to see that as an NBA fan. Imagine what the Thunder fans would want. Maybe they'll forgive him. I don't know. Thunder fans, let me know. And then there's always the possibility of him going back home in terms of Washington, D.C. Although, I don't know if that's the greatest move being that D.C. kind of just extended contracts, signed people off, and they probably can't afford him right now. Like I said, he can wait it out and wait for Kyrie to leave the Celtics and possibly go to Boston and you know, take Jason Tatum under his wing and build a franchise there. So what about the 76ers? Get rid of Jimmy B, you know, maybe he should just retire and stop playing basketball. I think going to set the 76ers would be like a similar move to when he went to the Warriors considering they already have a pretty solid whole starting lineup, but it's a possibility. Going to the Lakers would be too much competition. You know, you don't want to make the same mistake twice. Same thing that would happen if you went to the Lakers and played with LeBron. All in all, he can go to any team, really, but the Knicks is kind of up here. Definitely shouldn't stay with Golden State. He should just give Steph his team back and get on with his life and stop just stealing people's rings. You know, like I said, Clay will probably leave soon, so it really will be Steph's team. And being that money is so important to him right now, he can possibly redeem himself by going to a really crappy team who needs him and will give him all the money that he wants and then maybe he can win a ring with them and people will stop hating him. So, give me your thoughts where you think KD should go. Maybe I was right. Maybe I was wrong. Let me know down below. And if you want to see more videos from Steph's Corner, then hit that like button and more importantly, hit that subscribe button. I am almost at 10K. I've been saying that for like a year now, but I'm almost at 10K. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for my day ones. Thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are all really important to me. So help me hit 10K. I will keep making videos about the NBA. I just started a new segment and series of Draw My Life. So I'm going to be working on those. If you want to check out the one I previously made, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo and his life story. So you can check it out. It's on my channel. Without further ado, I will be back with more videos sometime soon from Steph's Corner. So, until next time, Nike out. Nigga, get your ass checked like a fucking Nike.